Hi, welcome back to another Ceramic Hour live stream. Um, it's me, JC. Um, what was I thinking about? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> okay. We've got some updates. <clears throat> so this is generally what we pulled out of our bisque firing on Friday. I just wanted to kind of drum up some excitement for what's to come in um, possibly like glazing, maybe under glazing on the stream. I'm not sure, but these are the pieces. They're base they're ready. I just have to like put some wax on them um, and then I can work on like decorating them. So just so you know what is upcoming, at least like for sure for the next like shop update um, and like kiln release video that we do, um, this is what you can look forward to. So, um, if you haven't watched the uh, previous streams, um, we have three little heart dishes. They're like little trinket dishes. Um, they're not super big. I would say like maybe almost five inches or so. Um, I'm thinking about doing something Mother's Day related for that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we have this completely random little cup. I don't know what, like, where, at what point we even made this. I literally don't know. But we have a little cup. It's cute. Um, <laughs> we have, um, off the top of my head, I think we have three of these full body rabbit trinket dishes. And I'm going to paint them like realistic bunnies. Um, we have, um, this little, like, bunny head, which will also be painted as, like, a specific, like, rabbit breed. I'm not, um, I would consider doing, like, a wild rabbit, but I'm not entirely sure right now. That's, like, so much detail with, like, they're not just like a flat brown color. They have like a bunch of colors going on. So I'm thinking right now like, um, like rabbit breeds that are like domesticated. <clears throat> um, let me just put this off to the side here. We've got oh, turtles. Uh, I'm so excited for these, seriously. Also, I haven't reviewed any of the bisque items in depth. I need to check for any cracks. I haven't done that yet. So hopefully we won't have any problems, but I actually don't know. <laughs> um, this is um, based off of a certain uh, turtle you might see as a sandbox. Um, it's super cute, very 3D. Um, and I am so excited for these. I have three of these. Um, that are ready to be bisked. <clears throat> and then um, we have this little mug. This mug did have a little tiny baby crack on the inside. Um, I don't think you can really see it, but we have some bisque fix um, down there covering like a pretty large area just in case the crack grew. Um, I didn't see any other cracks on here but hopefully maybe we'll have a mug to add to the shop this would be like the first mug that we would add so that's pretty exciting and then um last last of the bisqueware i did this off stream because i didn't think it was entirely exciting so i don't know why what happened but i ended up making this planter and I fired it without a bottom <laughs> so I made a bottom <laughs> um yeah so I'm super excited to get this little planter I, I think they look okay together it definitely could be like a tighter match but it's not too far off I hope it's like okay um I have not made a planter in a long time so I'm kind of excited for this. It has a little hole for the water to drip out, any extra water. And then it can just like chill here and dry. Um, yeah, 
I probably could use like, I don't know, maybe like a couple more holes. <laughs> I definitely don't want to just like drill holes in it right now, but I don't know. Hopefully it would be okay. So I'm really excited to have this pretty decent sized little uh, planter ready. And then um, I do want to show this off. I finished this um, off the stream over the weekend. We have our little um, jewelry dish. Um, so this is basically very similar to our paint palettes that you see over there, but the wells are not so deep and they're a little bit bigger. Some of the paint palette ones have some pretty small wells. So the idea for this is to be able to put like rings, earrings, um, small jewelry in it. Um, I got that idea from my coworkers. And I thought it was like really cute. So I have this one done. It's just air drying. And then the other one I need to carve. <laughs> I have another one that's like kind of in progress, but it needs to, I need to carve it out. Um, maybe I can put this off to the side somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Um, yeah. So, sorry, I should have like mentioned. So today we are going to <clears throat> do some slab building. Um, <laughs> This is like all I feel comfortable with right now because like our coil building um, has not really gone that well. <laughs> so I don't really want to do more of that. I just feel like I need more wins at the moment than failures. <laughs> like experimenting is great, but I'm just not ready for that. So um, what I was thinking we would do is make some little trinket dishes basically they're just gonna be rectangles at the moment and then I'm going to decorate them as little like pop tarts toaster strudel kind of thing um <clears throat> or like what would you call that a breakfast pastry or something I don't know what like the generic name for either of those would be but that's basically what we're gonna do and that's like how I'm gonna decorate it. Um, I suppose the video is not gonna be like extremely exciting, like slabbing out a rectangle, but I don't know. I just thought of it like a few minutes ago and I was like, wouldn't that be adorable? Like we need to have that in the shop. Okay, let's check out our clay that we have. We have a lot of dust in here. Let me get my sponge and mop up some of this like loose dust. It's definitely just gonna kind of dry out the clay. So it's kind of like not have loose dust in here. Okay. Um. I think these might be okay. This one's definitely good. Okay, I'm trying to look at this. I think this one by itself would be good and then we could maybe combine those two. Um, <clears throat> if you've watched uh, the live stream before, um, there's not a ton for us to do um, with slab building. Um, we can't really carve too much into it because it's so um wet right now so I think I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to just kind of like get this in good shape for wedging and then <clears throat> and then we can cut it out to the shape <clears throat> and then um I think we're just going to we can't really like carve too much into it we could like do a bit of carving and then um just like roll out the other one so nothing too crazy and we're just gonna have a little chat here um let me move this so i can stand up and wedge um and i want to put a little bit more down i just i don't want it to dry out more than it is Yeah, I 
think I can use some more water. I have these like pallets up here and they're kind of clunking. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this a few times, make sure Hopefully we get all the air bubbles out. And then this is also going to compress the clay, which is great. And just kind of mix it all around. Sometimes like the outside of a ball of clay might be a little bit drier than the inside. just about good. I'm really not seeing um, any air bubbles. I need to do a few more times maybe. <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of times where I feel like it's good and then I am working with it and then I find some air bubbles. Okay. <clears throat> Right now, we're just going to put it into like a pretty even shape to roll with our um, rolling pin. So either like a sphere or like a cylinder kind of is what I want. And I don't really want like this weird um, crevice there. That's, that might make some air bubbles. Okay. Now we're just gonna squish from the middle outwards. Whoops, sorry, I like hit the camera. Okay, oh whoops. I guess we could have gone for a little bit more oval of a shape. Um, I don't know, I always forget while we're streaming <laughs> when I'm trying to like multitask. Okay. Alright, let me grab my rolling pin. Okay, um... Let me think. So, we could, um... There's not, like, one way to do, like, slab building. So, what we could do is... Sometimes we'll roll out a very thick slab and then cut down into it to create that well for the dish. Um, you could also just like slab roll, um, like make it really thin and then turn up the sides into a dish or coil, um, make some coils and attach them to be like the walls. Um, I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. I'm not sure how much we could get out of this. Um, I don't know. I kind of want a good even shape. Let's see how much we can get if we make a very thick slab. This is just like kind of just like on preference or whatever as to like how you do it. Let me try like 
get some clay in that direction. Maybe, oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see how much we can roll out. And then let's, I don't know, maybe like flip it and then try to kind of like roll it in a diagonal to maximize like a rectangular shape out of this. I feel like going this route with the thick slab and then carving into it will give us a cleaner rectangle. Um, so I, I don't know, that's just kind of what I'm leaning towards. I think we can do this, I think that's fine. Um, Let's take our rib and we're going to um, smooth this out and get rid of that little crack there. There's some clay on the rib that's like dragging it around. Okay. So we're just going to do this in a couple different directions um, and then make sure we do it on both sides. That should be good. And let me get my little, um, this is like my little like needle tool. Um, I feel like maybe we shouldn't, um, <laughs> like roughly guess <laughs> like how to make a rectangle. So let's do, I don't know. Um, you can draw, I don't know. Should we draw or like just start cutting at the moment? I don't know. Um, maybe like here-ish. Okay, we're gonna draw this sort of, but I'm also going to get my, um, my little tool out. I think that's a little bit too small, actually. <laughs> Can we just, like, <laughs> erase this? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's a little rough over here, but it's fine. All right. Um, maybe like that size is good. And um, I, don't, I just don't want to completely eyeball this, so we're going to use this and make sure what we get is a rectangle. I'm not so good at like super precise slab building. I mean, luckily right now we're just, we're really just like, um, we're not gonna be piecing anything together. That's definitely like my downfall. <laughs> it's like trying to like piece slabs together um not so good at that so <laughs> um okay maybe like 
Okay, so we kind of want to account for a little bit of this being the part of the wall that kind of like comes up too. And it's not quite gonna be like a full dish shape if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I think that, I don't know, I feel like that might be a little bit too um, chubby. I know that wasn't like that much, but I feel like this is a good size. <laughs> okay. Let me put my little ruler away. Or I don't know, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> this isn't even a ruler either, really. I guess it kind of is because it has, it does have marks on it, but it's really just a paint stick. Okay. Do do do. I'm kind of trying to line up the blade with the paint stick. So I'm kind of hoping that this is cutting it at a right angle, but I guess I'm not entirely sure if it is. It should, unless it like wobbles. I'm not really sure like how, there are definitely potters out there that are extremely precise with their work. And that, like so many things are happening like geometrically. I just, I have no idea how they even, <laughs> there's definitely a lot of planning going on um, with their stuff, but like, I feel like realistically, I'm just like, how, how do you do this? Okay. It's kind of small. Let me see. I don't know. I'm not sure if I really care. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely on the small side, but I don't know. Like, I kind of like keep tiny cute things. I, I think it's okay. We're going to go with it. <laughs> but I do think this is like just super cute. And I think it's something that um, is just like peak. Like, I don't know. Maybe like peak. Um, like aesthetic for my shop maybe and like I feel like it's something that I could remake a lot and still have fun with it so I think maybe later we'll make a template for it um I literally thought about making this just before we started the stream so I didn't have time to make a template um but yeah, so this is gonna get even smaller um, once it gets bisque fired and then gets glaze fired. So it is gonna be pretty dainty. Um, I really don't know like how much I would say it would shrink. Maybe it would go down to like this big? I really don't know. I'm really bad at like <laughs> the clay shrinkage. Okay, so... The other dishes that we did, we angled um, the sides so that the foot was smaller than the um, the top part. Um, I'm not gonna do that yet, just because I would like the clay to be stiffer. But um, let's take our little, whoops, needle tool. Where is it? Okay. And we're going to mark out like about roughly where we're going to put the foot. I'm going to leave a bunch of space because we're going to cut the sides, but then we also want that foot space left there. And um, 
you may s <laughs> if you haven't watched my streams before you may say that's not a needle tool <laughs> This is this is a knitting needle actually. <laughs> but it's like it's perfect because it's like pretty dull. Um and they come in all kinds of shapes and I feel like they're really great for just like drawing um on the clay mark out things instead of using like the actual like ceramic needle tool which is very sharp. Okay, so we have our foot, and let me take our little carving tool, and let's just be super duper careful not to gouge out way too much. It's so easy to take out too much at this point. Actually, I'm just going to put this over here. <clears throat> the clay is so wet, we can like readily just put it right back on this thing our blob here and use that um, to roll out like something else. Okay. Oh, I just thought, just for like before I forget, um, the streams uh, for next week on Monday and Tuesday are going to be canceled because I'm going to go uh, into work and I normally stream during my lunch break. So yeah, <laughs> I won't be here <laughs> to do a stream. Um, this week we should have a regular stream schedule, um, which is uh, Monday through Friday from 1 to 2 p.m. Pacific time. Um, if I don't, if we have anybody watching this week, um, I hope no one is like too confused. We have daylight savings time here, so whoever doesn't celebrate that, or I don't know, celebrate's not the right word. Whoever doesn't do that may have been confused as to why I came out at a different time. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not, but I feel like, I think most viewers are watching on YouTube. Um, so maybe that's okay. <laughs> that would be like really confusing to like, um... I don't know. I think there are like I think there are people in the U.S. like Arizona or something where they do not do daylight savings, um, and then definitely like other countries, I think, also don't do it. Um, yeah. So like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> like in the winter, um to try and get like more daylight in the winter <sighs> because like um it gets dark really early and just try to like save daylight I guess um we set our clocks back one hour and then yesterday was when that reset and we have to set our clocks forward an hour. Um, it's kind of weird and super annoying. I don't know. I guess if we're like getting more daylight, it's nice. Cause um, I think like, just like on a normal day, like after we've done that, um, in the winter, like, 5 o'clock, it will be, like, pitch black. And you, like, you just got off work, it's pitch black, and you're just, like, it's sleepy time. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just <laughs> not that motivating to, like, do anything after work. Um, but, like, that would be even worse if we didn't do, like, daylight savings. I think it would be, like, 
pitch black at four o'clock and that is like I don't know that makes me more sad <laughs> Um, but it is kind of annoying to, like, remember to do. Um, I definitely knew it happened. So it happens, like, early, like, I don't know. I think it happens at, like, 2 in the morning or something on s Sunday. And so, like, when I woke up on Sunday, I, like... Well, I didn't know, but I, but then I remembered. <laughs> um, but then also <laughs> I like forgot to change the clocks and my ceramic, um, my little ceramic table here, my little workspace is right, <laughs> it's in my kitchen, <laughs> which doesn't really make any sense. It sounds really weird, but my kitchen like flows into my living room. So it's just kind of, I don't know um sort of the living room um and so I turn to look at that clock while I'm working because like I have like clay on my hands I'm not gonna just pick up my phone um you know <laughs> when I have clay on my hands <laughs> so I just like turn I look at the clock and I'm like oh wow it's not even that late <laughs> and then it was like I was like oh great I got so much done and it's only 11 o'clock and then I went to bed and I was on my phone and I was like oh my god it's 12 o'clock <laughs> which is like I don't normally like stay up that late because I have to get up early in the morning so I was just like oh my god I'm so tired and I'm trying to get off caffeine too I have the, I think I've had too much caffeine where it's like not really working as well as it usually does so I'm trying not to have as much caffeine at the same time and this is not going very well <laughs> it's going better than expected but it's not going very well Okay, I think that's a decent amount for the back right now. And I think let's carve out, we can carve out a chunk of the top part here. Um, I don't normally, um, you're not like really supposed to carve at this point, but um, we're not doing like too many like details or anything. Um, so I think it's gonna be okay. But um, generally you want to wait for the clay to harden a bit before you start carving. Um, just because it's like, it's really easy to like grab too much clay uh, with your tools. Um, or like dig too deep into it. Um, this is kind of good though, because what we're doing is we're just going to remove like that bulk and it's going to dry a lot faster than if we didn't carve this huge slab. <laughs> um... So I think um, I can watch it and make sure it dries out at a good um, at a good rate so that it will be ready for us to continue carving tomorrow. I know this isn't like super exciting, but <laughs> I don't know. We haven't done a rectangle before. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you guys just like chilling with me. <laughs> Watching my videos and listen to me blather over here. I don't really, I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> um, do, do, 
do, do, do. Um, I think I mentioned this on the stream. <sighs> yeah, I did mention it. Um, but I just kind of wanted to, like, I don't know, I guess give an update since I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, so, um, I'm trying to convert the business to ceramics, like just focusing on ceramics, but at the same time, because I made all kinds of different things. If you don't know, um, just side note, um, things include um, greeting cards, stickers, cat toys with catnip, um, coasters that are knitted and punch needle, punch needled? I don't know. <laughs> um, I think, well, I used to make bath bombs. I don't have any bath bombs at the moment, I don't think, but um, bath bombs were kind of on the list. Um, paintings, prints of the paintings. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Um, probably more. <laughs> so... Um, I used to make all that stuff. Now I'm trying to focus on ceramics because I think it might be better for the business um, and make more sense to customers if we're only focusing on like one type of um, thing, if that makes sense. We're making a lot of different ceramic things, but um, baby steps. <laughs> um, so... I just want to like let you guys know that I am launching a new thing. So I have all of those things. They've been on my Etsy and I like paid money to put them on Etsy. <laughs> like uh, I would pay for the listings. So I'm waiting for those listings to expire. Um, and then I think I'll just let them expire and what I'm doing right now that I started over the weekend was I I don't know I feel like it's stupid maybe it's not stupid I don't know I'm not really like a good at the business stuff um <laughs> in terms of kind of like I don't know like marketing or whatever but I decided on my Maker Place by Michaels, like it's a competitor to Etsy if you haven't heard about it, and they allow you to list things for free. So it just makes more sense for me to try and sell my remaining inventory on Maker Place. Um, and then if it doesn't sell, fine, but like at least I gave it like another shot. Um, so I'm listing all the other stuff on my maker place um, but I create a separate one from my ceramic one so my ceramic one is the main one it's Cali and Co and then I am working on adding all of those listings to what I am calling Cali and Co crafts I really didn't know what to put <laughs> um <laughs> I um I just feel like adding like a one word line to it to like differentiate them feels like it makes the most sense. Um, <clears throat> like I don't entirely feel like the word crafts like encompasses it to the extent that I would like it to, but um because there's definitely like, I don't know, like I wouldn't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want like a, <laughs> I don't want like a insane debate in the comments about how crafts are art and uh, I don't know, like, they're the same thing or like whatever like people saying like no they're different I don't want to like <laughs> I mean I guess if you want to if you want to start a debate in the comments like I guess but I don't really want <laughs> I don't like want to start that <laughs> um 
I just like literally didn't know like what else as just like one word I could do to add on to it. Like I didn't want to add on a bunch, like two or three words. Um, like I've often like had like the tagline lifestyle goods. I feel like that fully encompasses just like the different things that I make. Um, but I don't know. I just felt like it sounded like too long, maybe. <sighs> I don't know. Um, but that's, I don't know. That's what I went with. Um, Kelly and Co. Crafts. It's really, it's not supposed to live very long. I really just want to sell my remaining inventory because it, it just seems like a waste. <laughs> like, um to I don't know not do anything with it I, I don't really know what to do with it like I've spent like I don't want to know <laughs> I don't want to know how much I've spent <laughs> um making like buying supplies and making all those things just to um like throw it away or donate it um I've I have like included um some freebies at least to my coworkers because they're just wonderful and sometimes I need to like um just give them a special little treat. So I I have been giving away some things um but like to give away everything is it's a lot. It's a lot. I have a lot of mug rugs. I don't even know how many mug rugs I have, but I would say at least a hundred, possibly 200. I don't, I really have no idea. There's a lot, there are so many. <laughs> and I just like, I can't, like I can't um, not try to like sell them and like do something with them. Um, so this is really just kind of like a temporary thing. I'm thinking about, um, so I have both inventory, but I also have, um, like supplies. They haven't been made into the things, but they're just like raw supplies. So some of the things I feel like were more popular, like possibly like the catnip toys. Um, I could like make more of those. Um, because I'm pretty confident they will sell. Um, so, kind of like both like making things into inventory and then selling that inventory off is what I'm thinking. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, Right now, if you want to check out that stuff, um, it's on sale on my Etsy. Because <sighs> I'm trying to get rid of it, kind of. But um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if I should put on sale on Maker Place. I feel like maybe I would be able to sell them at full price. Like, I know, I, I don't know. It makes me like feel like so stingy, but seriously, like I've spent like, so much money on supplies <laughs> like it's concerning how much money I've spent for those things and to like make those things so like I, I really feel like I do need to like make that money back um like I don't know I feel weird talking about it <laughs> I feel like that makes sense I hope like, I don't want to just, like, sound, like, really, like, stingy, but I just hope that makes sense because, like, um, like, when you make, like, so many different things, you need, like, um, all of those different supplies to make it. Like, there's a, a lot of my stuff doesn't have overlap. Um, like, all the stuff that I make for, like, felting or like not felting well I did buy stuff for, to do felting <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I 
I just, I told myself not to buy more things and I, and then I went and bought more things, but the, okay. So sure. Um, the stuff that I bought for felting, like, although the catnip toys are made out of felt, I don't think it's the right kind of felt to use for felting. So I don't think that there's like an overlap there. Like a lot of my things are like that. Um, where I can't like reuse the supplies for something else. So they're just super specific. Um, unless I just like said, oh, I'm just going to like keep this stuff and just make things for like for myself for fun i definitely i do really like kind of making little zip pouches and tote bags um it takes so much time though it i don't think i would be able to sell those pieces um because like <laughs> I don't know I feel like anybody would just be like why should I buy your tote bag for like $65 when I can go and get a tote bag at the store for like I don't know 12 I don't know <laughs> like I just feel like there's no way that I can possibly sell certain things and I might just do that for fun for myself but um some of the things like I have one cat. <laughs> My one cat does not need like a thousand catnip toys. <laughs> like, I don't know how many I could possibly make with the felt I have, but surely she doesn't need all of those, right? Like, <laughs> there's only so much that I could just keep for myself. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> Let me see. Um, we're gonna set this off to the side and just let it chill over here. Um, I don't, um, actually I'm gonna let you know. I don't like have this uh, technique like fully like finished. This is all I can possibly fathom. But um, once this is ready to be dried to bone dry which obviously right now it's not but just so like I don't know I get this out there for anybody um so when you have something that you want to dry flat and um not warp um uh, what you want to do um I feel like um it's probably best to dry it upside down like usual most things you dry upside down and then what I am doing currently with my stuff, like my little uh, jewelry palette. So I have uh, these stir sticks here. Um, they are not directly next to each other. You can see there's some space here. And that allows for airflow to go under it. And then um, it's also going into that well um, because that's um, where it's facing. And then um, what else I do is I will put more on top of it. So this is great for like dishes. Um, it's really common for dishes and such to warp um, while they're drying. Things will also warp in the kiln, but I'm not really sure what you can do about that. <laughs> so I'll put more of these stir sticks on top of this and then I'll grab something that is fairly heavy let's say like these two ceramic palettes they're very thick and they have a lot of clay on them so maybe that maybe my spray bottle um anything that's like pretty thick just put it in the center there um and like weigh it down if I have multiple things under the stir sticks I'll make sure that like there's something on top of each so that it's pushing down and it's not allowing it to warp. That's just a good little tip for you guys. Um, if you're making anything that you want to dry flat, um, just leaving it to its own devices, it's probably going to warp and may not sit flat later, <laughs> which is like, it's kind of a bummer. Um, so I just kind of wanted to get that out there. Okay, we have just about 10 minutes here. 
Um, so let's just roll out our second slab and just kind of get that going, I guess. Um, we can make it, like, if we roll it out right now, we can make it the same size as that little, that little slab that we have um, over there. So, I don't know. I kind of want things to be, like, generally about the same shape or like about the same size um at least if i like if i made listings for it it would be a lot easier so that i don't have to like remeasure everything okay so let's grab some more clay i don't know we've been doing a lot of sets of three i wonder if we could get like two more out of what we have here Um, I feel like that could be like, maybe this much. Um, I think maybe we would need a little bit more than this. Okay, so let's just squish this up. And, um, I'm just gonna kind of squish it and see, just like maybe get better rough idea of how much clay we actually have I kind of I kind of would want to get like maybe two more out of this have like a good set of three I don't know we have a I mean I could definitely go for more like I feel like this is such a cute idea and I feel like it is just like um I don't know like something that I can really get behind and would be happy to make more of it and stuff um okay so we have like sort of about one i don't know maybe like three okay i don't know i feel like let's grab a little bit more clay. let's see how this clay is getting i think this is good got my my little pottery knife we do, we are going to need like some clay for like the sides. Cause we're kind of gonna roll it into like, you know, whatever. Oh, actually this is really wet. Is it, how wet is this? I don't know. Okay, I okay. This is not quite there. I forgot, this is like my reclaim clay. So it's not quite there. It's it's like just about though. Okay. Um. Let me see. Let me get some clay out of my bag. I just feel like we need like some extra clay um because we're gonna roll it out into like an oval or whatever and then it's gonna need like the extra clay on the side <laughs> i'm really struggling and can like carve this slab <laughs> okay um Okay, let's just do a little bit more and like, I don't know, just, just see what we get, okay? <laughs> All right, and let me tie this up quick. I think it's good to like I don't know I think I've heard it's good to kind of like smoosh it up um kind of like a sandwich or something I definitely don't think it's like a required thing or anything but 
I think it is like, I don't know, maybe like more helpful for um, mixing the clays or something. I don't know. Okay, this is like a lot. <laughs> I think this is like <laughs> way more than we need. Okay, let me just like, let me grab some water. Put it down on here. I just kind of want to like, I don't know, like kind of squish it up a bit. need to move those those paint palettes <laughs> okay all right I think I'm just gonna this is a really big thing to um to wedge so I'm just gonna kind of prioritize like my ability to lean directly on it and possibly not have the camera um perfectly centered. Okay, this is like a lot of clay. This is probably like way too much clay. <laughs> I just feel like we could definitely go for like a lot of these little palette things. These little jewelry dishes. a lot to wedge. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do this. <laughs> I feel like this probably needs like a lot more wedging. Just because of like how big it is. Just 
stop that or I feel like I feel like it's probably not done. <laughs> I don't know, they really look like an air bubble. Okay. I think I'm going to leave off here. And then... I don't know. Um, it's like kind of orange. I don't know. Maybe I would like cut it up. In, cut it in half. And... Uh, wedge two pieces tonight? I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know how I, like, completely way, like, overestimate what we're doing, but I always do. Um, so I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna wrap this up, and, um, I think I will, um, um, use that tonight while I work. Um, really nothing too crazy I think we're just going I want to like make some more little um some more of these little um pastry dish I have to look up toaster pastry I don't know whatever <laughs> um so I'm going to just like make more of these um because I think that would be so cute to have um for the shop so I'm going to make those um, tonight off stream and um, yeah, we'll just continue carving the one that we have out tomorrow um, and possibly the next day. I don't know how long that's going to take, um, but um, yeah, so we're just going to continue there um, later. And then, I don't know what we will make after that. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So, that is our stream today. Um, <laughs> I hope that wasn't too boring. I hope you guys like watching <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> um, for more, be sure to follow along on Twitch. And then all the videos will be uploaded to YouTube at Callie and Co. And, um... There, all of our videos um, for the live stream are uploaded into its own playlist. Um, and there's so many there for you to watch. Um, the YouTube also has a few other videos. We have a few ceramic tutorials. We've got um, some topics for like small handmade businesses and um, just kind of like other like general art topics and such. And then, um, oh yeah, also check out my Etsy. Um, and you can get like a either 20 to a 40 percent off discount on those non ceramic items. Um, my Etsy is Cali and Co. Uh, I don't usually put like links to those, but I can put a link in the description too. I'm gonna try to remember to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, um, or you can check out my website that has um, pop it has like even more things on it, and that is Cali and Co. And that's definitely in the description. Um, if you want to check out my other work. Um, well, that's our video for today. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye.